Hey, what's up, everyone? Eric Ross, the guy with the guy here, and I have something cool that we're gonna just play with today and see how it does. Uh, I tried to do something, but it failed, so I haven't really tested this yet. But it's this awesome website that I found that I don't know how old it is or anything like that. I think it's pretty recent, and it's essentially a algorithmic system, hence why it's called Al Algorithmia, that is used in a database that whoever made this website uh, has color images, like millions upon million, uh, millions of images, and they look at black and white photos, and then uh, through the uh, algorithm that it goes through, essentially it colorizes them. So, you know, they have a couple examples already on there where this is the black and white image, but as the automatic thing goes on here, this is what it looks like. Now, I noticed that a lot of these examples here they don't turn out the best but be it that they had no color information uh in them this is pretty decent it's it's pretty mind-blowing what it can do so what i'm going to do is just take a couple black and white photos from my website once again there's no color data on them they were updated uh they were uh you know added to my website as just black and white they weren't raw images or anything so i'm just going to try some of these see how they turn out and just kind of give my thoughts on it but i think this is something really uh, inventive and interesting that I think could be a thing of the future and it'd be really interesting to see what people do with older photos So let's just take some of my photos and see uh, what we can do We have four photos that I want to take a look at one of the first ones is one of the first weddings that I really did By myself a couple years ago at this point But I really like this black and white image for what it is and how it turned out now with that day There is a lot of green around there and if you look right here It is blown out and everything like that and the dress is a little blown out as well But you know overall it's it seems pretty solid but but how would a black and white creator make it in person? So let's take a look. So I, I copied and pasted my link into here, and, and that's what you need. You really kind of need a site that can show that it's a link, but it's also a photo as well. Like uh, in Squarespace, you just right click on your image and hit view image, and this is kind of really what it shows right here, and it shows that it's a JPEG. So you can't just drag and drop into this if you want to test it out. But here you just copy and paste it and you hit colorize it. So this is the photo before. And this is the after. Now, once again, this isn't going to be the most accurate because it's looking from a, that, that database with millions upon millions of pictures. And it's just really automatically generating, going through the algorithm of what it wants. But as you do see, it does retain that, you know, like this bench is brown. It didn't really catch it on this side for some reason. Uh, this yellow spot, I don't get. I, I don't know where it got that. So that's pretty bad. Um, you know, skin color looks fine. I, I mean, it's fine for what it is. Um, you know, it's not the best in the world. Like, she doesn't look atrocious here for being automatically covered. Uh, you know, the ground actually looks pretty decent for what it is in most of this image right here uh, compared to something like that because that's pretty much what the color was. It was like a more monotone uh, brick color, so a little bit lighter, like a tan. So that didn't do bad right here. But here's one of the first examples of something like this and what it can do. Once again, it's not the best in the world, but for it being black and white with no color information or something like here, it's pretty unique. Let's try another one. Here's one I had of a bride of one, uh, someone I did last year. And once again, I really like this image. It sticks out well. It's a little, you know, it's blown out here because I'm going to do some more high key coming in with nice soft light. But it was on some like wood paneling type of uh, background. So here we go right here. So that's the black and white. Now going into color, all this right here looks pretty fine so far. It's a bit warm. Uh, it has the paneling pretty much spot on, which is pretty cool. And once again, so the image is obviously overall a isn't you know colored accurately but what's cool is it did pick up a little bit of tones and variations within uh the roses and the bouquet that she had like it really kind of has the jewelry looking all right once again the skin tone and the overall color isn't the best but like this all looks good the background the, the wood paneling actually looks pretty decent as well it's a bit oversaturated obviously but you know for what it is it's not that bad um it just seems like that this thing probably won't get skin tones correctly so i don't think this is the most accurate i have like one more uh, one of the engagement ones that I did, or um, a baby bump one I did, but you know, a pretty standard one. And then I have a pretty dramatic landscape that I want to try out as well. So let's jump into the uh, baby one right here. Here's your typical baby one where, you know, you have the hands around and it makes a heart and everything like that. But this was in black and white, you know, pure black and white into the website here. As you see, it reveals the color. Now, once again, the skin tone, like if, if, if you think about it with having no color, you know, inform or data in here, it didn't do a terrible job with this. Like once again, it picked up some kind of like wood paneling that it had in the background, uh, which is what it was. It picked up like, this isn't necessarily black. It looks brown, which he was wearing a brown shirt. She was wearing like black yoga pant type things, picked up her nail polish and everything like that. And you know, once again, for the overall, it's not 
bad for this random system working. Once again, is my ex are my expectations high for something like this? Absolutely not. But to get something cool like this, you never know what it could do with old photos from uh, back in the day that can give you a start on something, especially if you're not like a Photoshop guru master uh, on this stuff and coloration of anything like that. This could just be something cool and easy. Like, once again, and even this site even lets you download the images and everything. So I just think it's pretty unique. Let's try one extreme landscape and then I'll wrap this video up. Well, lastly, but not leastly, is a landscape I took with uh, one of my friends here uh, in Centralia, Pennsylvania, which is like one of the deserted ghost towns that still exists, but kind of really doesn't exist because a lot isn't around anymore. But there are a lot of things in this photo. So I'm very interested to see what this pure black and white photo looks like in this system. So here we go. So this is the black and white. And then here's the color. So here we go right here. And for some reason, even though it was pretty accurate on, uh, you know, picking up uh, shadows and darks and blacks and everything and the other photos, it didn't really pick it up here because this was pure blacktop. As you see right here, that's just a street. Uh, it was an abandoned highway technically. So it's interesting to see that that didn't get that. But it did get, you know, the green tones and everything from the, uh, it's pretty much this half the image is all right. He's not even in color for some reason, but the sky is pretty much spot on. I'll be honest with you. It was very uh, gray and very intense that day with no really alteration in Photoshop or anything with that. You know, there's the hill, obviously, that was there. So it actually, this part of it picked it up pretty well, which is pretty interesting. Or that might mean there's a bunch of sky photos and stuff like that in this database that helps run this algorithm. But the but once again, the street, it, it's green. You know, obviously, that's not the case. So that didn't really work a ton there. But in the overall, it's just interesting what something like this can do. And I wasn't sponsored or anything or paid to do this. I just thought that maybe for the future of things and uh, just innovation and photography and all that kind of stuff, this is a really cool thing to just try out and see what it can do, especially if you had like old family photos or something like that that you want to restore and get colored and everything. If you want to fix them and you're not like a Photoshop champion, this could be something that you can try and you can use. Once again, you could download them for free and everything like that. So I'm going to leave the link for this down below. Try out what you, whatever you want here as well. Once again, you need to put it on some kind of site so it gets a link and it needs to recognize that it's like a JPEG or PNG or something like that. And then you just copy and paste the link in there, hit colorize and do it here. Once again, uh, keep your expectations low. My expectations were very very, very low for something like this, but it's just really cool of what it can do automatically with no information whatsoever, except in this database, what it was and for what it got. I, I think it's pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts down below and tell me what, what, what kind of photos that you're trying or you'd want to try in something like this as well. Is this something that's pretty cool for the future of technology, photography and editing and everything, or is it just meh? Let me know down in the comments below. This is very interesting because, um, it's just something different. Thank you so much for watching. Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye. See you later.